Nick Grady, an elite application engineer at Go Engineer. SolidWorks 2017 has added a new feature, Magnetic Mates, that expands its capabilities of large assembly design. To illustrate how this feature works, we will see it in the context of assembling parts together and then look at it in the plant layout design with large assemblies. Here, we have an assembly that has a single in-context part that will act as a rug in a child's room used to build a train track. The first toy might be a station. Adding a few mates, one to anchor the bottom of the station to the rug, and another to force it to stay in the back of the rug, mostly just to keep it from moving too much, will allow for adding future toys to the rug by building off the station with ease. Now, opening the straight section of the track, I'm going to add the connectors that are at the heart of the magnetic mate feature located inside of the asset publisher. In this dialog box, I have a few parameters that I need to define. First, there is a ground plane that specifies a common plane for components to line up inside of an assembly. This will be the same as making two planes in different components of an assembly coincident. When it is needed, there is also an option to use an offset. All of my components use the top plane as a common plane, so I will use the flyout tree to select this. Next, two more selections will be used to define connectors. One, a connection point defines where the two components will be attached, and the other, a connect direction, defines the direction of the connection. These three selections ultimately with a second component, will be used to create mates that fully define the component's orientation. Quickly, making a few more selections, two more connection points will be added and the straight section will be added to the assembly. Adding a new straight section of track as well as a curve track and a cross to the assembly. We can now play with the track while holding the control key a copy of the straight track being moved is copied, and as it is moved near the other components, those connection points have already been set up, is attracted to the connection points. Dropping the track near the station, it will automatically be mated to the center of the platform. Again, using control to create a new component, two more pieces will be added, now a copy of the cross, and a few more straight sections will be added with ease. Before we continue, let's take a look at the assembly mates. There are three recognizable mates and in place for the in-context part and the two concentric mates that were created to constrain the station. There are also a few mates called magnetic. These were created when the components were mated together by the magnetic mates. Unlike other mates, these cannot be edited in traditional means or used in configurations. Deleting them is as easy as moving a component that is connected to a mate. As I move the straight piece connected to the station, notice how magnetic one disappears. Because of the other mates, the track assembly stays together and then moving the track back, a new magnetic mate is created and restoring the original configuration. Because these mates can be easily broken, you can force a magnetic mate to not be broken by locking the magnetic mate. Notice that the icon changes and adds a little ball inside the magnet. Now, trying to move the first section of track does not break the mate. Another advantage of magnetic mates can be seen in linear component patterns. Let's take these two parallel sections of track, adding in a few more sections and then two turns. There is a loop for the train. If we needed to make this section longer, a quick change of the number of instances will do great.
However, the turn is now in the middle of the section. To move it down, we just need to grab the turn and reattach it to the last instance. This saves time by not having to find where the component is mated and having to reattach the mates. As fun as this example is, the real power of magic mates is in large assemblies. Opening this plant layout, which fully resolved takes about a minute to open and has 1700 resolved components, takes just a few seconds in the current state. This is because all of the sub-assemblies are opened as speed packs, which shows a graphic representation of the assembly without fully resolving the components. You can see here when I hit Alt-S on the keyboard, that the fake graphic representation of the geometry disappears whenever my cursor hovers over it. Before 2017, using speed packs was not optimal when needing to make components because surfaces were not easily resolved without resolving the full subassembly. However, by using magnetic mates, you can create mates with the speed packs. As an example, we will break the assembly line at this corner and copy another section and reconnect the rest of the assembly line. As you can see, there is a huge power inside of Magic Mates whenever trying to create connections between components. And if you're using large assemblies, Magic Mates will be beneficial because you won't have to fully resolve all of your sub-assemblies in order to create mated geometry.